If you are like me, you might have wondered if you need to spend several hundred pounds or dollars on a Shure or Sennheiser IEM set to use live. Also, if you're in a band, you will then multiply this massive cost by the number of individual mixes you will need for band members. So if you have not got a few thousand pounds or dollars available, what are the alternatives? Well, there are many companies such as Thoman, Gear for Music, LD Systems, etc., who make cheaper sets that are one to two hundred pounds or dollars, and maybe even cheaper on eBay or other auction sites. But are they any good? Many videos I've seen seem to indicate that they are trash, and you should only consider pro IEMs. So I thought I'd do a little unscientific test. Now, first of all, a few disclaimers. Please don't accept this as advice suggesting that these units are the thing you should use or buy. Please make your own mind up. This is not certified advice. Secondly, your mix equipment and audio gear may be different, which will affect the mix and the sound. Thirdly, this is not taking into account any movement, just in case you're one of those guitarists who likes to climb the PA stack, or a singer who walks into the audience. And there can be interference with other radio emitting devices, and lastly, headphones and earpieces. This is where you are probably best advised to spend some money, whether it's for the quality or for moulded earpieces to ensure isolation. Also bear in mind it takes time to get used to in ears. Use them in practice first for a while. So here's the test. I have a recording and I've passed it into the in-ear set from an output on my X32. It is then being sent to the receiver on 864.4 MHz, that's the one that seemed to be best in my little studio. I've then recorded it and uploaded the output to the video. This will give you an idea of the quality through the unit. Do bear in mind that there will be other factors in real life such as signal strength, distance and interference which may play a part. So my opinion is there is a very slight difference between the two. The IEM version, there's a small amount of the top end that's not there. The normal version sounds very slightly crisper. But the big question is, is it worth those many hundred pounds? Uh, I'd be interested to know what your feelings are, if you can leave a comment. Uh, like the video if you can. So I will be sharing a video of my IEM setup that I use with my band. It's a lot cheaper than some of the ones that you'll see on YouTube. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when that video comes out. I'm working on it at the moment. Uh, and um, take care now.